Okay, hello YouTube. Uh, this is the Canadian Greek uh, coming at you with uh, update number two. Um, I have found some uh, new shots of Ison. Um, one including um, a couple of them, including Ison and Mars. I expect uh, the uh, Ison Mars photos to start increasing. Um, let's begin with uh, this, however. Okay, um, that is um, asteroid. Eros, 433 Eros. Um, now I apologize for um, not catching that sooner. I should have investigated that before I made the previous video. That was my mistake. Okay, but it says here, note the asteroid left edge moving in the same direction as the comet. It doesn't say what asteroid it is. Um, so that kind of freaked me out uh, as to how big it looked. However, Eros is far, far closer to us than Ison, so of course it would look larger. Um, this still puzzles me, and the uh, dropping in magnitude. Um, Ison is well past the frost line now, so it should be increasing in magnitude, um, not decreasing. So um, I don't know why it's doing that, but I do have a theory. However, it is just a theory at this point because I have not been able to, through my research, to back it up with anything. Um, but let's have a look at what I found. Um, these are, this. you guys will remember this shot here, this is with uh, something preceding Ison, something in front of it, okay, and this is a shot that I showed you in the previous video, there's making bow shock here, okay, so there is something definitely there, and there's Ison in the coma here, or should be, right, this, this is how Ison should be, so this is another object. Now whether this is one of Ison's moons, I don't know, but I have a theory. But let's before we get on to my theory, let's have a look at some previous shots. This is these are all by Ronaldo Lagustri, by the way. Uh, this one here, and these previous shots. If you look at the date and time here, this was taken on the 25th of September. Uh, if we go to these other ones here, these are also from Ronaldo Lagustri, but they were taken at a previous time. These were taken from the 3rd of September, and as you can see, the object whatever it happens to be, uh, whether it's a moon or a split off Ison, is still there. It's still showing up. So now that's verifiable that the object is there, okay? It, it's not a fluke, it's not a camera anomaly, it's not a mistake. Um, here it is again on the 7th of September, okay? Same thing. So that's not a fluke, okay? And this is where the core of Ison should be. It should be in it should be in the main outgas cloud, right? In here. It should be in here. Okay, Ison. So that is definitely a moon, or as I will get onto my theory in a little bit, I'll explain. Um, what else have I got to show you? One more photo from um, Brosio and Scarmato. Okay, showing you the same thing. Now, Ison again should be in here somewhere. Okay, um, this still is a mystery to me, but I do have a theory. Um, and that theory is that Ison may have cracked, okay? It may have split. If that's not a moon, um, it may have actually split. And that's what we're seeing here is a piece of Ison that has cracked and is split off. Um, and because Ison has passed the frost line, um, it should be venting gases um, furiously at a, a you know uh, with very high velocities um, at this point now it should be expelling gases which means that this object should be getting expelled it should be getting pushed further and further away as we get as Ison approaches the Sun um, now this object I don't think will pose any danger to us unless Ison itself is to come very close to Earth I still give uh, no credence to uh, any trajectory from NASA as to where ISON is going for the simple reason that I think everything is likely to change once ISON goes around perihelion. Uh, perihelion. Okay. Uh, a couple of new shots have come out. This one's from Bruce Gary. Uh, ISON and Mars. That would be Mars. ISON is out here. Um, you can barely see it. It's not a very good photo. Um, of course, he had to scale back 
uh, in order to include Mars in the shot. Okay, um, and I have one more shot of Ice on with Mars, which is here, and this one actually has Eros in it as well. Mars, Ice on, and Eros. Okay, so there we go, and of course Mars. Um, that's it for now. Uh, I'm still investigating that that uh, fragment or moon in front of Ison. I haven't been able to come up with um, anything else other than the fact that Ison may have fractured and that we could be looking at a piece of Ison in front, which would explain the dimming. Okay. It's the only thing that I that it's the only thing that I can think of that makes sense why Ison would dim at this point because it shouldn't be at this point. It should be um, growing. Its brightness should be growing exponentially now. It should be it should be on a climb, and this is a pretty steady curve. Um, I would I would think it would grow a little bit more exponentially as it as it comes to, um, to Earth uh, to within one AU of the Sun, okay, which is where it should reach its maximum. Um, actually, it's one and a half to two AU, but I think well, one at one AU uh, or Earth's orbit should be where it should reach its maximum. Uh, maximum brightness, maximum coma size, uh, maximum tail, maximum everything. Okay. Um, anyway, um, that's it for now. I'm trying to keep this short. Uh, apparently, some people think I'm pretty long-winded uh, when I make my explanations. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but anyways, um, that's all the information I have for right now. I think that Ison may have fractured, would explain a lot, would explain the dimming, would explain the object in front of Ison. Um, in previous photos, as we remember from um, this one here is from the Hubble. I mean, I don't trust NASA anyway. They probably whitewashed this thing 10 ways from Sunday before they, before they posted the picture. So even if there was anything, in front of it, beside it, around it, it would have been whitewashed clean. Um, that's it for now. Uh, I'll keep uh, I'll keep digging, and I'll see what else I can come up with. I'm looking forward to more shots of like this because I'm really interested to see why to see ice on near Mars. Uh, it will tell me everything that I need to know. Um, that's it for now. Uh, that's almost it for now. <clears throat> I was just uh, editing my audio and I just realized I made a couple of mistakes. Um, maximum um, coma size will be reached at um, one and a half to two AU or one AU, but the maximum brightness of the comet will actually be reached before and after perihelion. Um, so just wanted to correct that, <clears throat> uh, that small inaccuracy. Um, that's it. Okay, guys, I won't keep you any longer. This is the Canadian Greek. I'm out.